what's up guys welcome back to the channel um today we are doing a little walk around of the first harley that i bought and ever paid off uh it was a huge relief i think i paid on it like six years before i paid it off and betty is is its name you may reference or seen me reference it in uh some other videos but this bike is a 06 electroglide standard uh, you can tell by the gas tank logo uh, that's on it that it's kind of pinkish but um, yeah what we're going to do is just do a little walk around video of the bike some of the parts i've used and kind of discuss some of those things so um, let's start with the most the biggest thing that i get asked about is the t-bar conversion i get maybe once a month a couple people ask me about that thing uh it's pretty rare i see an electric glide with t-bars on it um the road glides you see a bunch of them but the electric glides you don't because all the stuff that it takes to to get it done so um first thing is the 14 inch uh lucky dave san diego bar uh, those are 14s another no, easy way you can kind of tell uh this little bar i think is 13s and up so uh, you, you know if you see a picture of them or something like that you can kind of tell but uh, underneath that is the kraus plate and what this does is it moves back the mounting point normally the risers would be or where the handlebars would bolt to would be in this hole here um i don't know if you could tell but yeah so they're two inches it's two inches forward from that where it would mount to the triple tree and what the kraus plate does is just move it back so you know you can run a traditional riser or t-bar uh, but you do have to clearance this plate on both sides here and you do have to move the ignition and what i did was you can get these switches for 30 40 bucks um and made a little cover here so it kind of looks like a road king so uh yeah that's the newest and greatest thing uh i think these are harley yeah these are harley uh contoured levers which mean they're skinnier up here and thicker in the middle um of course braided cables from when i did bars on it before and that's pretty much it you know chrome chrome switch housings chrome buttons which are a pain in the butt to do but uh yeah that's it and on the front we have a 21 inch coastal moto wheel i've had that wheel for i think about 10 years now i never had a problem with it uh it's a great wheel great company rotors are still true all that good stuff so um I, you know wanted the wrap fender i like i like the way the wrap fenders look and yeah yeah i had it painted and and it looks pretty good on there with these fenders you have to run uh these little spacers but you can find them relatively cheap on places and and yeah that's it for the front end um there is legend axio cartridges in there which i'm a huge fan of legend suspension on baggers it, it changes the whole bike it it makes these old baggers uh ride very similar if not better to the to the newer baggers um it's a 41 millimeter front end which is smaller than the the, the new baggers but but man it this thing's on rails uh soaks up every bump you couldn't ask for for a better uh drop in cartridge suspension i don't think so and on the front with the lights we have the harley uh little lip bezels on the headlight and the fog lamps and those are just uh of course again the the ch the cheaper <laughs> uh ebay headlights and fog lamps and just some clear uh covers and once again the cheap ebay lowers uh, these are actually aftermarket lowers uh what i did was take you can buy these doors from harley davidson and put the door on there and no one ever knows those things are stock or uh excuse me aftermarket no one ever says a, a a thing to me about it so uh they always they they look they mount just like factory when i bought them they were like 300 bucks now they're dirt cheap <laughs> they're cheaper than that i think you get a set for 100 so 
Um, inside the motor, it's a stock 88 uh, cubic inch, but it does have a set of Woods Performance uh, TW6 cams, I believe. So yeah, when this thing gets up to 1500 RPMs, it starts pouring it on. Uh, this little 88 screams pretty good. And off the motor is a Vance and Hines Pro Pipe. Um, when I bought that pipe, it was $450, which is insane considering some of these pipes are well over a grand nowadays. But but yeah, uh, Vance and Hines, you know, Pro Pipe. There's n there's nothing wrong with it. I like the looks. Uh, on baggers it suits them real good nice clean lines and and great Vance and Hines sound so uh, since my wife is really short I had to get a mount to to move up those passenger pegs or floorboards I, I think it's like two and a half three inches because um, her feet were dangling they weren't even hanging on there so <laughs> and when I ride by myself use the uh, La Para bare bones I kind of like the look of uh, the bagger you know without the torque back or anything on it this is an electrified standard so it didn't have the lowers it didn't have the radio it didn't have a tour pack and and when I have it all dressed out uh, it's it's basically an ultra people always ask me about oh, oh the, how's your ultra did the it's it's not an ultra the one the one of the ways you can tell the standard is the uh, the polished engine cases uh, all the ultras had uh, chrome engine cases with the black motors man that's actually a gray or blonde motor is what they call it so that's how you can tell that those are standards in the back uh, I've never had anyone say anything but that is a stock chrome wheel chrome pulley and chrome rotor um, nobody's ever said anything never asked me they never noticed you can barely see it and i kind of like the the wheels being different there it's kind of a throwback to indian larry so and last but not least oh i did powder coat these when i had my little powder coater last but not least the uh cycle vision is all in one tail light uh has the blink three times in it before uh it stays solid turn signals all that good stuff and i did put some speakers in the in the bags there uh some years ago you can you know sitting in a parking lot you can hear it um but it was it was crap going down the road so that the stereo that's in there is about nine years old so it needs definite updating um that's that's another thing that that is on the list for this but all in all it's a great riding bike uh thanks to legends i don't know if you can see the the legends on the back of there but but yeah that was my last biggest upgrade other than the bars was the legend suspension on this bike and and it definitely changes changes the ride so i uh, hope you guys like the bike i love it love betty had to get out on her today uh, it's been a while i've been messing with the dyno for a long time so guys if you like what you see hit like hit subscribe hit comment uh share with your friends let me know what you think of betty let me know if you like it, and we'll catch you on the next one.